Today I'm going to show you guys how I build my trellises along my garden to grow veggies up and over and how I do it for really cheap. So I have three trellises going right now and if you've seen my other gardening videos you've probably noticed them off to the side of my garden. And my intention was to grow cucumbers all along the side of my garden and have them grow over the trellises, but none of my cucumbers came up. But I do have a bunch of squash and I'm going to try to grow them over them this summer. So let's see how it goes. But I'm going to show you how I built them and for a really good price because there's a lot of different videos out there that I've seen of how to do these and this is the most cost effective and easiest way and very long lasting way to do it. So originally I was going to get cow panels, but I found the price to be a little bit too much. And for about half the price, I figured that I could use, um, I think it's called cement mesh. And it's a lot cheaper, but they do rust over, if you can tell. And so if that's something you don't want, then you won't like these. But I don't mind the rust at all. I actually like the color. I think it's pretty. And so what you want to do is you want to take two sheets like this. So I have one on this side and one on the other, and then you connect them using, uh, what are these called again? Plastic ties, I think, and those are dirt cheap. So you connect them using those. Now I paid, um, I think I paid about 16 to $18 Canadian for a piece, whereas it was almost, oh no, it was probably a bit more than double the price for the cattle panels. And they're super strong. Like these will last, I don't know, pro oops, sorry, I moved the camera. Probably a lifetime, or I don't know, probably forever. <laughs> and you attach them. Sorry, my roosters are so loud. You use um, T-posts, so you drive those into the ground like, like that, and then make sure that your panels are on the inside, and then attach them using these guys, just like this. And so I have them against my posts here for my garden bed and attach it to the inside so that whatever I have growing on the edge of the garden will come up and over. Actually, I do have some cucumbers coming now, but they started so late. If you've seen my other videos, you know why. And so I'm not sure if they're going to make them up these, make it up these, but I have a lot of squash and melons growing. And what I've been doing is as they grow from the center of the garden, like you can see, they've gone absolutely crazy. Um, as they get closer over here, because it wasn't my intention for that for them to grow up here. It's just the cucumbers, but they spread so far that I'm now going to put them over the trellises. So as they get um, get farther over, I redirect them to the trellis and hopefully we'll start growing them up here. And then as they grow and they start hanging through, I'll make sure that they start hanging through and support them as needed. Um, and hopefully this will be strong enough to hold them. It should be. It's 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 super super sturdy like my children could probably hang from these things <laughs> and so what I've been doing because I'm not out here like enough to be keeping an eye on the growth and redirecting really well I guess but what I've been doing is let me show you actually with the with the other ones is I've been gently very gently pulling them through the fencing and then wherever i have wherever they have these guys attached oh, these are so amazing i like tell my children they're like they're like little fingers and little hands trying to grasp and reach up so they can support support the whole plant um i try to unwind them as best as they can if they break it's not the biggest deal because they'll wind up again redirect them through the fence and up the trellis and so, like you can see here, I actually pulled this entire branch out through the fence and then put it along the trellis and re-wrapped this guy right here around this um, post right here. Sorry, I'm trying to get the camera to focus. It's not doing too well, but you get the idea. And so I'll keep you guys updated with how this goes and uh, if you guys have any idea on the best way to support these babies when they start growing. I actually saw one awesome tip, which looks hilarious, but is such a great idea, is people take 
um, bras and <laughs> and will support the squash or melons <laughs> like that just because they're the shape of them so perfect and the material is strong enough to hold them so I may even just try that it'll look ridiculous but but I think it's brilliant if you guys have any other ideas or if you see something um, wrong with what I'm doing please let me know because I need I need tips I even have so there's all the squash and melons there but I have more growing here and these are just from the compost so if you've seen one of my other videos talking about how the first year we were gardening here we only had um, like we didn't have a garden we only had compost and we ended up with 30 spaghetti squash just from our compost so all of this here I didn't plant <laughs> this is from our compost and I have random things growing like squash and potato and lord knows what else but yeah there you go so I don't know hopefully you guys have learned something from that comment below and if you have any tips and advice for me please share I would love it and I'll keep you guys updated god bless and I'll see you guys in the next video